With me, I've got Luant, the CEO of Unistellar, and they have a smart telescope. Tell me about this. What makes this so smart? Hey, first it's a smart telescope, but it's also the most powerful consumer telescope you will find because it has different elements that make it different from traditional telescopes. First are the smarts. This is why we call it smart telescope. Uh, the smarts of it is that it doesn't need any complex manual setup. You just put it on its tripod and then you push a button and it will automatically uh, understand where it is uh, and what it's observing in the sky. And from there, it will propose to you all the interesting objects you can observe that night. And at the push of a button, it will guide you there. It will point there and show you the object first and tell you information about this object. And so this, you're not putting your eye through this, right? You're using some sort of... On this, yeah. On this model, no, no, you, you don't have an eyepiece. We have another one with an eyepiece, uh, but it's, uh, but both are fully controlled with, a, with an app. So it's either tablet or, or telephone. And uh, the image is streamed on the tablet and the telephone. Tell me more about the app. What can you do on the app? How does that work? You connect the telescope to the app. It proposes objects. Uh, it has a database of 5,000 objects, galaxies, nebulae, planets you, that you can observe. You can select any one of those objects. If there is an object that you know, but this is not in the database, you can input it, input the coordinates, and it will go there and show it to you. Once it's on the object, it starts accumulating light on the object, so the image builds up over time. So for very faint objects, you will see the object appearing after a few tens of seconds or a few minutes. Uh, and at the same time, it shows you contextual information about what it is, what's the age of this object, how far it is. Uh, th you can then capture the image when you're happy with the image. You can share it on Facebook, you can share it uh, through text message, whatever. Uh, uh, it also uh, collects uh, raw images. These raw images, you can uh, download them on your PC or you can share, share them with a scientific institution for scientific research. We have a partnership with NASA. Right now we have 10,000 users around the world with this telescope. And this builds up actually something that is very valuable for scientists, which is a global network of telescopes that can observe 24-7 from many different places so there is no weather problem. This is, this is the transportation backpack. For someone like me who lives in New York, is this a viable option? Yeah, so uh, we do telescopes for consumers and consumers tend to live in cities in general. Uh, so that's why we focused on developing technologies that allow observation from light polluted areas like big cities like Las Vegas, etc. We have a smart pollution reduction technology that allows to reduce this light pollution to a point where you can still observe many objects. Won't be as good as uh, observing from the Death Valley, but it will be good enough for you to practice and have enjoy pleasure while doing astronomy. I definitely want to put this to the test, so I would love to try one out in New York when it becomes available. It is currently on pre-order if you want to check it out yourself. For more CES coverage, make sure you keep it here on CNET by subscribing. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.